Lois Lane is turned into a witch, and you're never going to believe why. Welcome back to Rad Rat Comics, a channel where I talk about old comic books and the stories inside of them, and I am ushering in a new era of this this channel because I've discovered the glories of Superman's girlfriend, L Lois Lane. Um, I started to read the series, and the first issue has three stories in it. They're each good enough to be on the channel. Not only good enough, they may be the best. This story uh, is the cover story of issue number one, and it is amazing. Um, I need to track down showcase showcase number nine or something like that, um, where there's more stories that are even before this, But because uh, these are just so good. <laughs> just wait until you see what happens. Let's dive into Lois Lane, The Witch of Metropolis. In Metropolis one day, Lois Lane, reporter for the Daily Planet, is assigned to preview a new museum prior to its public opening. The story goes that this black cat, now stuffed, brought a king such bad luck that he lost his empire, and five knights who walked under the ladder met death the next day. Molly Todd was a normal girl during the day, but each night she turned into Mad Molly the Witch, casting evil spells. My word, how could people believe such silly things in the old days? Well, um, just to start here... Superman is her boyfriend, right? That's the title. Um, he's an alien who happens to look exactly like a human, right? And she thinks that luck is just a ridiculous concept. Who could ever believe such ridiculous things? <laughs> Superman exists in this world. And, you know, the Superman of the era where everything is going crazy all the time and the most ridiculous things ever happen. Um, but... You know, luck and superstition is too much for her to handle. Suddenly, goodness, my compact slipped. The mirror broke. I suppose I'm doomed to seven years of bad luck. <laughs> Don't scoff, Miss Lane. There may be more to superstitions than we suspect. I suggest you study this booklet of ancient legends. Pish posh, I'm not afraid of any bad luck coming to me. My next interview with Professor Jason, the famous biologist, won't be rattle brain nonsense like that. Okay, so the museum guy uh, has a museum. It's a new museum, which is about bad luck. They have a stuffed black cat and a ladder inside the exhibit. But uh, also he has a booklet on ancient legends that'll like tell her why her mirror breaking is going to do something. Not entirely sure where this is going to go which is partially true because I read this a while ago, so I have actually forgotten some of it, but let's jump back in. But at the lab, Lois hears a fantastic scientific theory. I'm hoping to find a youth serum that will counteract old age. Each of these test tubes contains a different experimental solution. Hmm, odd fumes. Well, I wish you luck, Professor. That evening at Lois's apartment, it was too late to return to the office, so I'll write my stories at home. That tale of Molly Todd turning into a witch, <laughs> it still makes me laugh. Suddenly, Lois chokes, stares, and gasps in surprise when my, my hands, they look old and wrinkled. A glance in a mirror brings a greater shock. Oh my goodness, I've turned into an old hag. I, I look and cackle like a witch. Her heart chilled with fear, Lois studies the museum booklet. Superstitious Legends. Mad Molly's spoken commands preceded by the magic charm Hix Hox Hex had the power to cast evil spells. Any maiden breaking a mirror before the witch's picture would also turn into a witch nightly for seven years. And I... I broke a mirror there. Confused by the uncanny mystery, Lois seeks fresh air. Has the ancient legend come true? Am I a... a witch? I'll wear this shawl. I'd die of shame if anybody saw me now. Seconds later, more bad luck hounds Lois as she meets Superman on his night patrol. Pardon me, ma'am. Goodness, the man I love and hope to marry someday. He mustn't suspect who I am. Hee <laughs> hee, yes, young man. I'm looking for escaped convicts who may be hiding in this neighborhood. Watch out for them. I will, young man. Hee hee hee. Superman didn't recognize me, thank heavens. Shortly after, Lois stumbles on the desperados. That old hag saw us. I'll shoot before she blabs to the cops. Eek! I've got no time to call Superman. I'll be killed. Wait, if I really am a witch, I can cast a spell and save myself. 
It's my only hope. As desperate Lois uses the magic charm of Mad Molly, Hix, Hox, Hex, bullets, turn aside. Yipes, how could I miss her at this close range? Superman heard the shots. He'll take care of them. But now there's no doubt. My hex worked. I'm a witch. Shaken by the eerie experience, Lois crawls numbly into bed at home in the next morning. Why, I'm myself again. Just like Molly Todd was normal during the day and a witch only at night. Hmm, I'll be able to go to the office. But all day, Lois is apprehensive of nightfall. Was it just a bad dream I had last night? Or will I turn into a witch at sundown again? At home, as twilight fades and the dark mantle of night shrouds the city. My hands changed. It it happened again, and someone's at the door. Oh, Lois, it's me, Mrs. Jameson. Can I come in, Lois? The door's unlocked. Oh, goodness, my neighbor, Mrs. Jameson, mustn't see me. Wait, it's simple to escape if I use my powers of sorcery. Hix, hox, hex. Away, flying broomstick. Hee hee hee. And under the brooding moon, Lois soars in traditional witch fashion. Superman isn't the only one who can fly now. Hee hee hee. I'm beginning to like this. And I've got a great idea how to make good use of my powers of sorcery. Hee hee. Later, at the Metropolis Movie Studios, every reporter in the city has been dying to find out what new movie they're secretly shooting here. That night watchman is guarding the door, but I'll get in another way. Hee <laughs> hee. At the back wall, Hicks, Hox, Hex, wall open. Hee <laughs> hee. Inside, aha, so it's a picture about space travel to the moon, eh? What a scoop to bring into the Daily Planet tomorrow. I'll make the wall close up again when I leave. But at the office the next day, remorse strikes Lois, despite praise from Perry White, her boss. Great story, Lois. You scooped every reporter in town. But I'm not proud of myself. It was unfair to use sorcery for my own petty advantage. Am I... I turning evil like all witches in history? Later, as Perry gives an assignment to Clark Kent, Our overseas courier is bringing top-secret documents exposing a foreign spy plot. Meet his ship when it docks at midnight, Clark. Hmm, Clark is a star reporter and always gets the juiciest jobs. Will Lois conquer jealousy and resist the temptation that plagues her at home that evening? It's almost dark. When I become a witch again, I can use my powers to scoop Clark. No. No, it's wrong. I, I mustn't. Okay, uh, let's take a quick break there. There are a couple things that I would like you to take note of. First is the cackling. <laughs> Um, sorry for you having to hear the way that I've been doing that as I, I read through that. I would like you to keep that in mind. Uh, that will be important later. Not really, but kind of, you'll see. Uh, also, this series is 90%, no, 50% about scoops. In fact, if you take a sip of a very light beer every time the word scoop um sh shows up not not so much in in this story but in uh the other ones you'll die like it is every panel she's talking about scoops it's scoop scoop scoops the other 50 percent, of course is trying to trick um superman <laughs> into proposing to her um but yeah uh so she gets powers and she just wants to get scoops. That's all she cares about is Scoop and Clark. Which is interesting because this story portrays Clark as being like the best. When it's normally opposite. Maybe not at this time. Um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure. But normally she is the best. Because he's always busy saving the world and stuff. So she gets all the stories because he's doing the things that are in the stories. But I don't know. It might just be for this particular story to make it more desperate for her to need to use the powers more of a temptation for her i'm not sure they didn't think about it let's keep going but before midnight a cackling form flies to the docks and he he every reporter for himself clark will be waiting for the ship to arrive but it won't for a while meeting the ship at sea lois utters her witch's charm hix hox hex ship stop for one hour he 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 good grief what happened the engines are going full steam but we stopped while the ship is delayed I had time to find the courier's stateroom and slip the documents away. Clark will show up empty-handed at the office tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee, I scooped him. Again, Lois hates herself in the morning when she delivers the documents. Tsk tis, Clark, you're slipping. Lois came through while you flubbed. What a shoddy trick I played on Clark. But I wonder, is he secretly Superman, as I've often suspected? Oh dear, now the most wicked idea of all struck me. That night... When Lois becomes a witch once again, she uses her uncanny powers to create a lump of kryptonite. Superman's other identity is the world's greatest secret. What a scoop. 
and I know how to get it. Hicks, hocks, hex, kryptonite, appear! Hee hee hee! Gleefully, Lois flies to Clark Kent's apartment with the one substance that can destroy Superman. If I see that exposing Clark to the kryptonite weakens him as it does Superman, it will be the proof I need. <laughs> but a battle rages within Lois's conscience. No, I mustn't betray the man I love. I won't do it. No. Yes, I will. <laughs> yes. Finally, that's the one thing I can't do, betray Superman. But the temptation will come back night after night, and I'll be a witch for seven years. After a tortured day at the office, Lois can bear her dread secret no longer, when Superman drops in during his patrol of the city. Hi, Lois. Why? What's wrong? Why the bitter tears? I, I'm no good, Superman. That movie scoop, beating out Clark, they were unfair sorcery tricks, and I almost used kryptonite to expose your identity. You see, I'm a witch. A witch? Nonsense, Lois. Dry those tears. You aren't an evil sorceress as you think. But... How could I cast spells? Why did I turn into an old hag each night? Okay, I want to take a break here so you get the opportunity to guess. <laughs> Do you have any idea, based on the contents of this story, what is actually going on here? There is an ever so mild hint um, that showed up at one point, um, but I can't imagine you would. I was certainly surprised. It's one of the reasons I enjoy these stories so much. Uh, let's see. Why was Lois a hag? Let me explain. That night, I recognized you on the street. I will, young man. <laughs> that blue sapphire ring on her finger. Lois Lane always wore it, and her cackling laugh can't disguise her voice for me. But what turned her into an old hag? I'll check after I find the crooks. We both came upon the crooks at the same time, and by sheer coincidence, when they fired at you, I used my super breath to blow the bullets aside. Hicks, hocks, hex, bullets, turn aside. Hmm. Lois thinks her spell stopped those bullets. What's behind her queer actions? The next day, retracing your steps through the Museum of Superstition and the Scientist's Lab, I pieced the strange riddle together. Some of my youth serum came out the opposite, as old age serum. The fumes Lois inhaled turned her into a hag at night under the influence of moonlight. Great Scott, I'll tell her the truth. Careful, Superman. If she finds out suddenly she is not a witch, it would be a double mental shock. She might never recover. Well, then I'll have to humor her until the serum wears off. I've, I've seen some very thinly stretched plots before and explanations for things. Because often they make a cover first and they try to figure out how to make a story around this. The idea that Superman can't tell her that she's actually fine and the serum worked the opposite way. So I guess it was supposed to make her look more young in the sunlight. Would have accidentally made her more old in, in the moonlight. I don't know. One thing, okay, I, I pointed out the cackling, right? She took an old age serum on accident. She sniffed an old age serum. Why does she cackle? <laughs> There's no reason for that. Uh, that part is just not explained. She just, I guess, believes she's a, a witch. And the, the doctor or researcher, scientist guy, he happens to know that She's going to believe she's a witch, and you better not tell her she's not, or she'll have a, a shock. Like, so Superman has to go along with it and like make her, her spells come true, I guess. Um, let's see. It'll show you. Thus, I had to make all your hexes come true. I'm keeping in shadow as I pull her flying broomstick along with invisible wires. The heat of my x-ray vision will melt the movie studio wall. My super strength will hold back the ocean liner that she commanded to stop. After Superman explains all and flies Lois home, that was false kryptonite I dropped in your hands, of course. Then I'm no wicked witch, thank heavens, but will moonlight still turn me into an old hag? At her apartment, as night comes, no, the old age serum wore off. You'll stay the same, young and bewitching. Don't call me bewitching, Superman, anything but that. The end. <laughs> masterpiece uh this one was just fantastic because yeah like they came up with a, a plot they came up with a, a cover and they just had to figure something out so superman melts a brick wall with x-ray at the time x-ray and heat vision were not separate they were one power he was just x-raying it so hard that it melted she of course is between him and the wall so she got a lifetime's worth of uh 
x-ray all at once but she's gonna be fine don't worry about it so superman he spends his nights for these last two or three nights following her around and like towing her on invisible strings that she never sees you know like she never touches she ne- she he just like instantly she grabs this broom says her hex and he grabs something and he makes these strings to like carry her around at and just like watches where she thinks she's gonna go so he can take her that way uh he melts a brick wall bricks don't melt uh, and then he, he stops a, a, a giant ship just on her whim because if he doesn't, she's going to have a shock. She's going to be surprised and it's going to like kill her or something. Um, it, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, it is a very common theme in this, uh, in this series where she will embarrass herself in some way. Um, one thing I would like to also point out. So the cackling was not explained. This panel as well. She is flying, uh, which means Superman is above her, holding her up, right? But she has done her hex to make the ship stop. When she does, it stops, but she's still flying. So the explanation actually doesn't make sense. Superman is carrying her from the sky. He's also under the ship, pushing it to a stop. Like, they just didn't try at all with this, which I think is pretty funny. So I very much enjoyed this uh, story within this uh, first issue. There are three. Um, I might I might be doing two of them because there's so much good stuff. I don't want to I don't want a B plus story. I'm doing A's and up because of how good uh, this is. And there's a ton of it. So stay tuned for more adventures of Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. And the absolutely ridiculous things that happen. Cannot wait to show you the next one. I will see you then. Thanks for watching.